Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Free Random Games. A series where I find some of the most random games out there on the internet, and I play them for you right here in this video. I can't promise that they're gonna be any good, but I can promise that we're gonna have some fun. So if you guys cool with that, you down with that. Everybody get ready and buckle up, cause here we go! So check this out everybody, if you are a kid and your dad says that he is going to get the milk, it's pretty much set in stone that he's not coming back. But in this game, you actually have the potential to find your dad after he went to go get the milk. We just have to dig to find out apparently, and this is mom's house, and that's mom I think, and she a little baddie. But we have to dig to find dad, he is at the bottom. <laughs> We just gotta keep falling down, and I think I see him. And I think I see the milk! Holy shit! <laughs> this must be what a shit looks like when it's flushing down the toilet and going through all the pipes. This is ridiculous. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Ooh! All right, here we go. So, this is the store that Dad went to. It is called the I Don't Know Store. And it looks like this girl is trying to find her dad, too, but not if I find my dad first. And there's drinking jugs. Did I say drinking jugs? You know what? We're just gonna keep it. Drinking jugs of water. And dad? Are you here? Wait, I found my dad already? I played for two minutes. I played with your mom for two minutes. I thought there was gonna be more to this. But literally, we just dropping bombs trying to find our dad. Next game today's episode is called Hide from Billy. This is another Roblox game. And it's 12.07. And how do I hide from Billy? 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 Oh, what? Okay, I'm hiding under the bed from Billy. I think I'm still moving. Oh my god! <laughs> Wrong spot. Don't hide in the spots that he draws on the wall. Okay, so that's a shirt. So I guess I can't hide in here. It looks like he's in there. I feel like I smell Billy in there. I can't hide in the box with the X. So does that mean don't hide in the TV? I can't hide in the bathtub because there's a duck. Maybe I can hide in here, in these bricks. All bricked up. Let me hide in here. I think this is bad though. Dude, that is loud as shit. And Billy is a dick. Billy's a douche. Don't hide in spots that he draws. What's that? It's a shoe. So... I can't hide in... Oh, I can hide here. All right. I think this is it. Oh, my... <laughs> Apparently, Bill is my neighbor. What is that? Oh, it's an upside-down duck. Can I hide in the trash? <gasps> I belong in the trash. I do belong in the trash. Oh, I forgot to close the door. I forgot to close the door. That was my bad. I think it said doors are good protection. So, no bathtub because the duck... I can't hide in the living room, apparently. I think that's what it means. Let me see if there's something here. I can't hide in the drawer. Okay, are the closets. I can't hide in the closets. Maybe I can hide under the bed. Wait, I saw something right here. I can't hide in the shoe room. I don't even know what that means. What about here? Can I hide in the trash? Can I really belong in the trash? There's um, a box. I still don't know what the hell that means. And then I don't see anything else. So... What I think I can do, I think I can hide in the trash can. I'm crossing my fingers and I'm crossing my butt cheeks. Come on, please. I don't understand. Okay, rubber duck. This one doesn't have anything, but I can hide here apparently. Okay, let me hide right over here. I don't even know where this is. No, Bill, Billiam, what are you doing? Get away from me, ugly bitch. Yeah, you don't want these problems. You don't know what it's like to be me. Always being... I was gonna say always being hunted by my ugly ass neighbor, but it is what it is. I don't understand how it's the wrong spot. Let me hide inside here. Come on. He can't come in the bathroom. Why don't I just lock the door? Boom! I was gonna say, just lock the door or pretend you're taking a shit. Nobody wants to go in the bathroom when you're pretending to take a shit. You know what? I think I know where to go. I am gonna hide under my bed because I didn't see anything that said anything about a bed. Please. Look. How did he pop up from under there? Like, he would have hit the top of my nutsack from popping up under the floor like that. Oh, shit. There's a trash can right there, and I'm hiding under the trash can. I am so damn dumb. 
I'm just gonna hide here. I've had enough, everybody. He's gonna jump scare me, and we're just gonna go to the next game. It is what it is. What? Hell yeah. Okay, he just ran. We're going to the next game. Next game we are gonna check out is called Suspicious Downpour, and there's nothing suspicious about this downpour. It says, The Complete Guide to Owning a Flashlight by Benjamin Gulliver. I bet that's a book worth reading. It's gotta be worth it, right? Click to toggle flashlight on and off. What was that? That better have been me. That better have been me because I'm hungry and horny. Use the flashlight to search your surroundings for danger. Can I grab my axe? Okay, one of us is getting eaten tonight, and it's not gonna be... It's gonna be me. It's gonna be me. Okay, what can I do? Greetings from Hawananiti. Greetings from Hawaniti Forest. A postcard showing a better time. Yeah, this is bad. How to make a perfect sandwich. How to lose a fight with a bear. Is that foreshadowing 101? That's foreshadowing 101. I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen in the next chapter. Bro, this bear's about to eat my butthole out. Okay, I don't know what to do. If I were really in this situation, I would tuck myself in the corner of the tent. They always say play dead when it comes to a bear. A bear will eat you no matter what. Like, are you kidding me? Playing dead, being alive. It's all fun and games for the bear until the bear's done with it. Okay, okay. What was that? Bro, I just saw some eyes. I saw somebody's eyes looking at me. Oh my goodness. It's not even a suspicious downpour anymore. I know what this is. Bro. Come on, man. You shake it more than twice, you're playing with it. Somebody's shaking something in these woods. Hitting the high notes? Oh shit, I need to read that. Hold on, I feel like I wrote that book. Am I just supposed to ward off evil spirits by shining my fleshlight at them? I feel like I am. I see so many eyes everywhere. I'm done for. I'm done so. I'm capiche. One of these keys must do something? What keys? What are you talking about? Huh? Oh! Okay, it said one of these keys must do something. Oh! I didn't even know I had sandwiches! Here! Take my sandwiches coming out of my crotch! Nom 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 nom! Last game today's episode is called Aito Noroi. I don't know if that stands for cutting your hair with the watermelon because that's what her head looks like. But we are going to play as either Asuka Sasaki, Kazuka Takizawa, Sakuno Uhara, Raira Kirabayashi, Amina Matsushishami. I'm just going to choose that one. That one looks like Yanchan or something. April 11, Sunday. You have a guest? You've invited her to drink some tea together. You can kill her. Oh, crap. Okay. Straight to the point. So let's have a conversation. I want to talk to you. I'm good, thanks. How about you? I'm good also. I want to ask you a question. I guess never mind. Let me offer your help. No, thanks. All right. So much for me trying to be a friend. Goodbye. I guess I will kill you then. So here we go, everybody. I'm going to take the knifey that does end lifeies. I'm visibly armed. How do I take that out? Okay. So I'm going to get the tea because it's tea time, boy, boy. And we're having tea. You spoke with Nicole about life. She told you a lot of interesting things. What the fuck? You got a little nervous. I mean, envious. <laughs> Wait, what? April 12th, Monday. Okay, so Nicole... I guess she's my teacher or my classmate or something. I have no idea. She looks so out of place in this world full of all these people. You must kill this girl. She is feeling quite sad today because she lost her necklace. You can use that as an advantage. Who is her? Who is her? Hold on. I'm her. I don't understand who I'm supposed to kill. Give me one second, everybody. I'm supposed to kill somebody, but I don't even understand. I feel like I'm killing brain cells. Let me talk to you real quick. Hold on. 
Let me speak to you. Why are you walking up the stairs like that? I'm gonna check my mind. This girl, Amira, Amaimiya, I can't deal with her. She irritates me too much. I can't resist. To accomplish my task, I have to find a weapon. If I am not wrong, there is a knife in the cooking club. Okay, of course there is, right? So that's the cooking club. Wow, what a freaking kowinky dink. So let's open this. And then let's go get the knifey. There you go. And I have no idea who I'm supposed to slice and dice with this knife. I guess you. Can we do it? You're not going to hurt anyone. Just you. Oh! Is that it? Yo, are we doing it? Am I her? I might be her. I can't live in the same... What? You are arrested. Remember to behave normally near a teacher. Did somebody just make me do a 360 backflip? I was just reading a note. And then all of a sudden, I did a twirl like I got caught in the middle of a tornado. Yesterday, I had such a bad dream. I dreamed that someone was following me. Strange dream. What do you think it could mean? I think it means that the person you're talking to is not the person you want to be telling that to. Because she does have some stalker vibes to her, if I'm being honest. And you. Let's talk to you. I'm good, thanks. How about you? I'm all right. Let me offer you help. No, thanks. Nobody wants my help in this game. So I guess I have to deal with somebody named Amaria Amamaya and Mama Mia. I got the knifey and I don't even know where she is, but I need to figure out where exactly I'm going to find her. I don't think that the names pop up above their head. So this is going to be kind of difficult. Like, look at this. Who is this? Like, who are you? The lesson started. Everyone studied. Emma Nina Matsushima. I have no idea what that said. Okay. Are you Amaria? Please tell me you are. I'm good, thanks. How about you? Looking like Misty from Pokemon. Oh, here we go. Okay, so Amaria, Amaria, Amaria. Amaria Amamiya is the blue haired girl. Okay, if I can just find her and get it done, then I can complete my mission and then wipe my hands of this ass. Is that her? Hold on. Let me talk to you. Yesterday, I was hanging out with my friends, and all of a sudden, my necklace went missing. I am certain that it is not at home. Amaria Amamiya has lost a necklace, which is incredibly valuable for her. If you help her find it, she'll be very grateful for that. Will you help her? You know what? We're going to do it. What else are we going to do? I can't just pull out the knife in this courtyard full of everybody. So I'm going to try to find that necklace. I have no idea where this necklace is. I might as well just try to kill her because this is ridiculous. Oh, wow. Okay, it's just like Yandere Simulator. Where I can clean and wipe the blood. I don't want to do that. I actually want to try to find the necklace. Every time I press E, everybody, I pull out my phone. And it makes me want to die a little bit each time I do it. Oh, wait. Amaria's right there. Hold on. You know what? Forget it. Oh! Oh, the necklace was right here? Wow! Okay, might as well sell that for some money. Because I need to live in a different country. Because we just ended the lifey. Somebody said, Ah! Oh! <laughs> Yo! How do I change my clothes? Hold on. I need to clean myself. I need to clean myself with this mop. Wait, what? Yo. <laughs> Who did that? The lesson started. Students noticed that Amaria Amamia Samaliova Violeta told the teacher you killed the person. You were arrested. Try again. This is ridiculous. Okay, but at least we know where the necklace is. So we got the necklace. And then we just need to give it back. There we go. Okay, so we don't really have to eliminate anybody. All we have to do is have a little conversation. She's taller than the rest, so it's easy to find her. You are the best. Thank you. Please tell me, where was it? You made me know that this world still has kind people. Thank you again. Come with me. Oh. So we had to finish that quest in order to get her to follow us. Now that she's following us, it's going to be very easy to eliminate her. But what do I do? Hold on. Come here. Get over here. No, no, you don't have to go. I'm a Mia. I'm a Ria. I'm a Mia. Come here. Hold on. One second, everybody. Oh, shit. I was trying to get her to follow me. Oh, shoot. No, Sensei. Stop it. Stop it. She was about to kick me in the back of the head. You're arrested. Remember, you have to behave normally near a teacher. Okay, everybody. This time, we are not going to get caught because you don't have to go. Come here. Come here. Nope. Stop. Stop running so fast. Let me talk to you about our Lord and Savior. And I need you to follow me. Sorry, not now. Why? What? What are you talking about? You know what? No. No. That is not acceptable. Here we go. Oh! All right. So we are going to hide the body. 
Because I can't have anybody finding out. And nope, not by the urinal. How do I open doors? How do I flush this stinker? Okay, you know what? We're just going to drop you right here. There you go. Got it. Five minutes left before class, and I'm visibly armed, and there's blood puddles right over here. Raira Akiba Yashi saw a pool of blood? Yo, this is the hardest game in existence! This school layout is bizarre. Oh, the shower room! Oh, okay. So that's where it is. Alright, I know exactly what I want to do. Nobody's coming over here, right? No, you do not have to go. Get that ass back over here. Excuse me. Come here. I need you to follow me one more time. There you go. She doesn't follow you for that long. I think like 15 seconds or less. And it's stupid. But this is not stupid. The fact that I got this knifey. Oh! So, I think this is where I shower, right? Please tell me. Is this it? Yep, take shower. Okay, and blood washed away. I think that's pretty much it. Nobody suspects anything. I don't have blood on my uniform. I still have the knife in my inventory, but everything's pretty much poochy. And yeah, let's just pretend that we live to fight another day. All right, everybody, but that's gonna do it for this episode of Free Random Games. Hopefully you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.